So here I am in Google Maps and there's a really great feature that allows you to measure distances. So I've selected Sydney Harbour. This is Sydney Harbour Bridge here. Here is the Opera House. This is a beautiful harbour. I'm a little bit biased myself, but you might want to go for a walk from here along the Harbour Bridge, come off down here. The stairs are about here and all the way around to the Opera House. And you might want to know how far that is. So all you have to do is right click where you want to start. So let's just right click. Over here it says measure distance. Click that. If you didn't quite get it right, here is the little dot that it's put in, the starting point, and you can move it. And you can get it just about right. And I could zoom in on the map here. If that wasn't the spot, I can just click on it to remove it. There you go. So let's just right click and clear measurements and we'll start again. So I'm going to click here, right click, measure distance. As I said, I could move it. Now, what I can do is I want to know the length of the bridge. So let's just click here. And it's telling me 469.75 meters. Now, if you prefer feet, it's an easy thing to do to change it. Firstly, down at the bottom, here's this little box showing you the total distance. And it's got both. It's got the meters and it's got feet. But if you want to change it here on the map, down in the bottom right corner, you've got your scale. And when you click on that, it changes it to feet. Okay, Australia is a bit of a metric country, so I'm going to change that back to meters. I'm just going to click here. Okay, so I want to go all the way along here. The stairs are about there. I'm going to click here. That's now showing me 1.04 kilometers. And as I said, it's showing it here as well. I can then come along here. And you can see it's got each point along the way. And I can see all of these little distances. So if I want to know from here to here, I can easily subtract that. So let's just take that to here. That's the Opera House. And if we want to go right over to here to get a really good view of the harbour, there we have it. 2.49 kilometres and right down the bottom here, 1.55 miles. So easy to do. Now, I want to show you just something else that you can do because you can move these afterwards. So perhaps I want to go a little bit further along. I will take this route. But I might also want to explore this road. So I'm going to come down here and round here. So if I click here, it adds another spot in. Ah, I didn't want that. It's done one too many. I kind of, let's see if I can click right here on this line. No, it's not doing it. It's kind of taking it from there all the way across. So let me just try here again. There we go. That's got it. Now I'm holding it down. I'm going to move it along to here. I can move this to here. I can move this to here. And then perhaps I want to go a little bit further down here, around like this. And there's a bit of a shortcut along here. It might not show a road, but there it is. So there you go. That's how you can easily do this. And you can move it around and adapt the map for whatever you need. So as you can see, I can add in another point here. And you did see that at one point when I added one in, it actually took it from here at the end to there. So just be careful where you choose your point. Okay, so that's how you do it. How do you clear it? Right click anywhere, clear measurement. That's how you can do measurements on Google Maps. And if you fly drones and you've got to keep a certain distance from buildings or people, this can be really good for working out where you need to be. Thanks for watching. If you do like this, please do like, share and subscribe.